<laughs> what are you laughing so hard for? <laughs> tell me what you're laughing so hard for. <laughs> I'm crying. Go ahead, you can tell me. What, what did you th What did you think we drove by? <laughs> There's a place over there called Romantics, and it's a sex store, but it had on one of the sides, I thought it said fishing gear, but it said fetish gear. <laughs> you said we could stop there and get some fishing gear. <laughs> well, we're not going there, are we? <laughs> no. <laughs> we are headed to a lake that I don't even know if we can fish at, but I found it on a map. And uh, we're gonna go take a look at it. So, the plans are to do some fishing and some camping. I don't know if we're gonna do necessarily stealth camping, but definitely gonna do something, right? Mm -hmm. Oh, the lake's gonna spawn in front of us. We got some water over there and got water over there and we got this in between us so what do you think ready to give it a shot yeah all right how's it feel out there feels nice you guys like it yeah i like it what's that say is that say midwest bushcraft oh yeah we like it Oh yeah, it's so fun. So we are thinking about heading to the Mile Hill Lake. What are you thinking? Yeah, we're gonna go there. Yeah, we're gonna go to Mile Hill Lake. I got, this, a, I got like a little, like a little fish out there, but. And this is a nice place, but that interstate down there, whew, like it is noisy. So we are gonna grab our pickup truck. And we're going to head out of here, huh? Yep. Pretty cozy. Pretty cozy? Yeah. Show you guys what I'm going to be sleeping in. Because Dorian's a big dude. He's six foot tall. So I, I'm going to be sleeping in my hot shot bed. Which I put, I built back here in the back of the truck. I can show you guys in the daytime. But yeah, I just sleep on the diagonal and got plenty of room back here. So we're gonna do some Johnsonville beef hot links. Sounds good. Okay, so I'm going to build this fire up. That'd be fun to uh, just get some sticks and cook the brats over a fire. So we'll build this guy up here real quick. It won't take very long. And uh, get cooking on it again. Just loading her up. Watch this. Mm -hmm. cool? Okay, buddy, here's your stick. Here's my stick. Here's a weenie roast. <laughs> Grip it so I can pull it. All right. No sense in dirtying up another dish. Let's eat our mac right out of the bowl. How's that sound? Yep. Okay. I did.
Dorian's allergies are kicking his butt right now. He's over there blowing his nose. Sun's looks like it's all the way up, but just the way my camera's doing it, it's five, five forty in the morning, so the sun's getting there. This is this little campground. I just came over here to drop our trash off. And uh, so it's cool. They got a little firewood uh, shed here. It looks like the firewood's gone, but any wood that they stack outside of here, they say, you know, thanks for, for offering a donation. But yeah, so they redid this and they changed these to where they used to be like these crazy stalls. And now they're really nice. Like, they're super nice. Here is the truck bed camper set up it's just really a bed you know that we made and then we've got our coolers one for our cold and then one for our uh, warm dry stuff like bread chips stuff like that over here in the gray water behind the water we got fuel cooking accoutrement stuff like that fishing tackle behind that we have two different tackle boxes and then a GoPro stand. oh yeah the our GoPro stand that broke. And then uh, a table, an aluminum table that comes out and we'll set up here so we could have like a kitchen if we wanted. And then over here is the hot shot bed. So what I slept in. Yep, sleeping on the diagonal. But it gives me plenty of room. And I've got storage underneath it. Got these stabilizers, these jack stands or pads. And this is all the mattresses. It's from another mattress that I had bought uh, for that bed in there. So the excess part. Yep, just the excess part was perfect for for this. And this thing just pops up and pulls out. But it gives us. Two beds. Two beds. Too small for that one. Huh? I'm too small for that one. You mean you're too big for it? Yeah, I mean, yeah, too big. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so last night we used this stove that was from that, that Tech L company that I used, that Tech L. This is the one that I removed their logo on because it was just glued on there. But really, the stove did a great job. I mean,. I've got zero complaints about it as far as its workability. But I thought it'd be fun to take it out with us anyway. Just because it was so much fun to use. And like I said, it's like that good crossover between, I think, perfect size for one person. It did a good job for two people. Ideally, um, if we would have been cooking anything other than just dogs last night, definitely would have wanted a bigger stove. But hey, this thing did a great job and it fed us, so... Can't really complain too much. Create your own music. Well, this is the opening uh, area. You go, go down this little road right here, and I'll take you to one of the, the ports so you can get your boat in. But. Good job, dude. Catching fish out there. Stove's ready. Nothing, nothing ever tastes as good as that first morning cup of tea, though.
I've got something a little different to try today for breakfast. This is um, it's from Johnsonville. It's called Sausage Strips. I don't know if you've ever seen this, but it actually says on it, uh, sausage and strips <laughs> like bacon. Can't go wrong, I'm thinking, so we're going to give this a shot. Looks good. It even says that it's already fully cooked, so we're just going to fry it up, I guess. I'm hoping that I can use some of this grease off of here for the eggs. We'll see. We love onions, but we use onions to deglaze the pan when we're done cooking too. And they go great on a breakfast sandwich. bacon pieces? Yeah, give this the bacon but not bacon. Here, go ahead and grab that. Yep. Are they bacon? Well, it's sausage bacon, so you tell me, what do you think? What's it taste? It... It's not bacon, but it's... What do you think? 7 out of 10. 7 out of 10? Alright. Mm -hmm. Okay. Two pieces of non-bacon and egg. And some onions. Mmm. Give it a shot, you tell me. Tell me what you think. Oh, you're losing eggs. Or you're losing onions. How is it, though? Good? Good. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to do the same sandwich. I'm going to do two pieces of the non-bacon. Slap an egg right there in the middle. I'm actually going to cut the egg in half because put that egg. You figured that with me? Yeah, I figured out with Dorian. I don't want to lose. I don't want to lose any of my stuff. There we go. Look at that. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Yep. I still lost a piece of onion though. Yes. It tastes so good. So good. The best thing about whenever you like, when you use the onions and you need to glaze stuff, is put a little bit of water in your pan when you're done. Wipe it out. It looks marvelous. 